Uh, well, hello, my name is Nicholas Bell. Uh, it's my pleasure to speak with Viester Kairish uh, for his new film, January, which is Latvia's official submission in the category of Best International Film at the 95th Academy Awards. Uh, congratulations for that. Thank you. It, it's your second time uh, having that distinction after the Chronicles of Melanie. Uh, and I, I, it's also worth mentioning that uh, you premiered in Tribeca, uh, where it won uh, Best International Feature. Uh, you won uh, Best Film and Actor uh, in Rome. And then you just won Best Director in Warsaw. So, And also Best Director in, in Rome. We got uh, actually three main prizes. Right, in right. Rome. Uh, I think I first want to start off because the film seems very, although it's a period piece uh, set in a particular time in 1991, uh, how timely it seems. So when uh, when did you go into production on this? Uh, excuse me, when or or why? I don't, I didn't get the question. Yeah. When uh, you went into production? Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it was, uh, no, as usual, I think three, four years ago, and it. Uh, it was uh, idea when we discussed with producer Gins Group and in a Seboka Group, uh, and actually I was uh, 19 in, in 1991, and I had uh, really a lot of experience, and I was uh, kind of young, young filmmaker, even not young filmmaker, but somebody who, who have interest in in making films, and and uh, in same time it was those huge changes in Latvian history. We we get rid from Soviet Union, from Russia, what was uh, like dream for the uh, last 50 years. And uh, it was crazy, crazy time. And uh, with such an energy and uh, tragic and in a way positive in the same time, because it was so hopeful and we were really hoping for the best and uh, to get rid of Russia really was something for Latvians. And, and yeah, and it was uh, like, you know, as you mentioned, the Chronicles of Melanie. Uh, the uh, or history, especially our history with uh, Russian occupation, uh, always occupy my mind. And I, 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 I did several films. I did uh, two films uh, about Second World War. This one uh, was newest uh, history, and I just was always this problem uh, in Latvia. We felt always there, and in, in, I can't say that in a uh, last year, February twenty four. Uh, or uh, the world changed for me when uh, Russia uh, goes to Ukraine. It was like we, in a way, we are living in all all, all the time in this kind of suspense about what Putin Putin will decide, what he what he will do, and so on. And, and uh, it was uh, of course we, we uh, now. The film somehow fit really in the time because of the war, but it was wasn't our uh, goal. We just wanted to 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 tell the story about a use about filmmaking about uh, history and use also. It's used not only for the main protagonist; it's also used for the country. It's you know it's beginning for for somebody for uh, some some somebody who will become probably a filmmaker and beginning for some country. Also, it's it's about freshness and braveness. I could say, yeah, right. I, I mean, your last this and your two previous films. It's kind of a thematic trilogy of lives anyway. interrupted by conflicts uh, significantly, which I, I kind of liked because uh, I'm a fan of the Chronicles of Melanie as well, um, and I'm a fan of a film called Compartment Number Six. And you have the two screenwriters from that film, Andres Feldman and Livia Ullman. Tell me how they came on board to write something that's kind of semi-autobiographical. Actually, I invite them before they, they, they won a prize in Cannes Festival for apartment number six, but uh, some it was a great thing because now they are working with my next project already and it's a, it was nice. Uh, one, uh, one, script consultant from Berlin just suggest to uh, to invite them uh, young uh, young uh, screenwriter writers from Estonia what is our neighborhood but but still uh, another country and uh, we, we, we Latvians and Estonians uh, we, we don't have a common language we don't understand each other it's all communication in English anyway but of course they have and, and they are coming from a, a another generation uh, and uh, it's uh, events, uh, events of, of of the parents of them, 
And somehow it was a really good and nice co cooperation. And they really, because Estonians, they always, uh, they also, they managed those barricades in 1991. Probably there was, wasn't so bloody events as in Vilnius or in Riga, but still we were on the same, pa same page. And, and, and for, they knew those, uh, those events from, uh, I don't know, from, from history, from school, from parents, for everybody. And it was nice, uh, nice cooperation. And we really, we, we, we somehow it was good, good match. Uh, and, and uh, both sides and uh, we are happy with the result and somehow really we continue already working on, on our next project. Yeah. Nice. That's very good. Um, the casting. So, uh, Carlos is it Carlos Avot won best actor. Avot. 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 Yeah. Sorry. Uh, he's kind of a newcomer. I know he's in three movies this year, but where did uh, where did you discover him? <clears throat> you see, I'm in the same time artistic director of the biggest theater in Baltic states, Dial Theater in Riga, and uh, when I and I become artistic uh, director just. Uh, 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 very short, shortly before COVID, and uh, and uh, and I I was looking for uh, new actors, you know, somehow to, what you, I could invite in the uh, new, uh, you not know, just some some new faces in the uh, established troupe of uh, Dial Theater, and I, and I look uh, and I found him uh, as a really good good guy, uh, and and I invited him in the theater, and but I didn't have uh, intention to invite him uh, to play in January. Because I knew that he is playing uh, main role in some another uh, movie, and I I didn't want to uh, an uh, to make another Latvian movie with same actor and so. On. But he was really good, uh, and I wa I watching uh, I wa worked with, with him in theater, and I also watching how he is working with uh, uh, other directors, and and uh, and uh, parallelly I I casting for January, and it was like one year, and I can't find uh, the character, but I ha I, I was strict view that it must be somebody else and I, I even uh, didn't even Carlos asked me when you will invite me to the casting I said no 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 way it, it, it is never for you and then suddenly I realized wow I just start to change my mind of the character and I found it it must be him and then it was like a big decision and uh, and I'm very happy about it uh, yeah yeah, somehow we, Latvia is a small country. We we know each other, and and so, but still, uh, still we are casting for the for for the years. Even we know all actors by heart. Yeah, it, but that's interesting because he's he's quite good in it. Because uh, the film kind of rests on his shoulders, um, and the look of the film, which is you know compared to something like the Chronicles of Melanie, which is this beautiful black and white. Uh, you worked with a uh, notable Polish cinematographer, Wojciech Steron this time. Uh, and it, I mean, it's a, it's a, the material is kind of dark and depressing, but it seems like he had a lot of fun uh, creating the look of the film. Can you talk about that? Yeah, I, I, actually, I'm uh, again, I'm uh, happy because I worked with my previous DOP of Chronicles of Melody and City next to River. And it, uh, I really, I, I was very satisfied with the uh, work, with the work of DOP Gins Berzin, but uh, you, you see, you must develop in a way. I, I start to think, should I probably uh, look from, uh, to change, uh, actually just change in a way my way of uh, working. And I was uh, once in a jury in Kiev, actually in Ukraine, and, uh, and uh, we gave, uh, main prize for uh, look uh, Wojtek star on uh, film uh, documentary brothers he, he was director and i was fan of the film it was also mentioned in locarno festival a really great film and uh, i i wrote him an email just to, you see probably send me another films i heard about from jury and we had some something like this virtual even not friendship just some small conversation but uh, Afterwards, uh, I decided really I must go for the, for the somebody, and he was the first to, um, uh, what came in my mind because I, I, I researched his work and he really combines uh, deep intimacy with uh, with this big scale uh, 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 incination. Op no, he he have really skilled and, and crafted in all, all both ways, and and also we know the Polish. Uh, 
film school, a Polish uh, tradition is very, very strong, and they really have a great school, and uh, and uh, and uh, yeah, and he was also he my age, and he he ha had uh, really also his personal memories about the time uh, because he was a, as a school uh, I don't know young student they were were in uh, Vilnius, uh, capital of Lithuania. Uh, for excursion, and he started to photo, make photos from uh, Le Lenin monument, and then policemen catch him and take out the film. And he has something like this also, and of course we have uh, uh, similar history of because also of Poland. Uh, you know, after uh, breaking of Soviet Union, uh, uh, all, all the all Eastern Europe Euro Europe changed, and and and. And yeah, and and I'm really, really happy. I, I, I'm really hoping also to continue continue our uh, uh, creative work uh, together because uh, somehow I felt he have some something that is important for me uh, because for me filmmaking is uh, collaboration. It's really collaboration. It's not just I need good DOP and so it's you know it's just to find the style a way just to to uh, good chemistry with uh, uh, cast uh, actors and it's it's so so tricky it's like ha handmade work and and I'm not we are not this kind of Hollywood industry uh, what you have and 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 somehow I, I really uh, like the, to put the soul in the in the movies and, and it's uh, and uh, yeah I'm I'm really happy to, uh, that we met and and, and 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 also he was brave enough to use those many formats like uh, super 8 yeah. Or or even this uh, Super 8, uh, you know, it's always nice. Uh, Super 8 is always a little melancholic and uh, time, and it's uh, always good. But to work with this uh, Witch 8 and Betacam in the end part, uh, it was really a challenge with analog uh, video from those times. And right. we, we, because we, th there was combination between real documentary, because this time uh, was really well documented because there was first video cameras and people just uh, walking in the streets and, and shooting. And it was dilemma uh, how to work with uh, uh, this uh, time and this event because uh, everybody knows it. Because we every year on television have those uh, real footages from this time. And it's uh, and also Yuri Spodniks and, uh, and uh, another cinematographers. Uh, they they fixed the time and it was very well known and also to build uh, to reconstruct uh, this time also it's very tricky because it's very easy to be a fake to make a fake because everybody knows almost and then there was this decision just to, to combine documentary with real one and somehow to try to mix together and that's why we we choose to use also those old better come commerce we can't find them even one uh, one was uh, from a uh, real Yuri Spodnik's camera <laughs> because uh, you know nobody using those cameras you can't you, you can't get them anymore and it's I, I thought it was a, a nice homage to Yuri Spodnik's who as I understand did film uh, a lot of that there and died uh, in 1992 actually but uh, th that's interesting so some of that was actually from Yuri's work yes it was yeah Okay. Yeah, there's some some footage is where, but uh, because uh, he he is very famous for do he really documented how the Soviet Union collapsed. It really was his mission, and then he did some huge films. But also this, uh, what they are watching this, uh, how easy to be young. It was cult film of last uh, years of Soviet Union because he first time show the young generation who who live in Soviet Union and don't see any any real goal for them just they just the uh, sense of living in this and also there was first time he interviewed those uh, soldiers from afghanistan uh, uh, who is coming back uh, and uh, uh, really some uh, some not alive some handicapped and you know and it's, it was first time for Soviet Union they discovered wow they're, they're, <laughs> it's not so nice uh, world uh, anymore around because it was not uh, permitted to 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 be on re uh, on on official media uh, those guys from afghanistan he was really really very strong in influence personality and he was also because uh, he first this is a huge documentary uh, we 
but it was uh, five series for the for the British television, and he was like first the guy who was working in West, you know, and he came here and he was smoking Marlboro and was you know real yeah. man. <laughs> Uh, was January uh, always the title? Because I really like the position of where the world is and looking, being tied to the back, but looking forward to an uncertain future. Uh, I think that works really well. But was that always it? Yes, it always because you see, I, uh, I I'm also uh, it's a little bit semi biographical, and I'm also born in January. And the, uh, as you understand, the January is first month of the year. It's it's really film about beginning. And it's uh, it was very it's like this innocent fresh beginning of something. Yeah, uh, I, I, you shout out a lot of uh, notable auteurs. I was wondering, was Tarkovsky also your favorite? As uh, was uh, Yazis. You see, Tarkovsky was because he was a Russian, and 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 that time I I, I really remembered because I was not very in. It's a huge difference in you in the states, for example. You want to become or interesting in film, you are watching films. In Soviet Union, there was no films, and suddenly in this period, there's just like a, a lot of VHS tapes with a bad quality, all the world classic. For us, was, uh, for us it was like, wow, we discovered that there, there is another reality. And it, for us, for young people, it was just more, even more important about some nation, nations fight for freedom because we are fighting for our own freedom. And it was, uh, you know, very important at that time. And and uh, Tark- but I, I heard in the, like the last um, uh, class in the school I heard about Tarkovsky, Tarkovsky, and he it was his film, but it was screened in the uh, movie theaters. Nos- no- nostalgia, I remember. I watched it, and I I never see seen something before like this. I I I I, I can't. I, I I remember this feeling. I didn't understand anything because it's so, so strange and, and so right. complicated, but the image was so strong. I remember I almost, I walked one hour in the street just somehow to to understand what 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 I saw. And it was really so st- strong. And uh, and uh, also for me, uh, this this uh, landscape of Tarkovsky, just uh, this Gereunia, uh, how he said, it's like a village, uh, this village landscape is uh, very important also for me. And, and also we could see in January, this personal approach that he see the landscape, just just simple landscape, but for him it's full of of uh, of meaning, full of sense. But uh, of course, and he is not uh, skilled enough to 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 show the landscape in the way that uh, could somebody could understand also that, that there is something. And it was also for me very personal because I remember all my school years. I just bringing some materials for me I, I was almost crying while watching but no, but no, no teachers nobody they say come on what is going on <laughs> where is action where is something you know yes it's exactly. yeah and, uh, but i could say in soviet time the influence of tarkovsky was very very strong of course afterwards when we start to discover for for example wim wenders or werner herzog um, antonioni just you know it's but the but the in the Soviet territory, he was number one in, in that time, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, it definitely captures the that feeling of awakening, which I really liked. Like you, you think back when you first watch these films from these people, and maybe you don't really understand what's happening. But I, I love that feeling in your film, um, it, and I was curious to see you really came out of the stage world and theater. You directed lots of theatrical productions and opera. Uh, but is it safe to say that more recently you kind of are navigating into being a film director? It's, I think it's, it's a, uh, I, I think it's, it's very interesting question. I, I, I try to answer all my life. I, I and I can't. I just can't. I'm, I'm all all the time. I even have diploma. I have only only one diploma in Latvia where it's written. Uh, cinema and theater director because I I, uh, I in the school I went to both classes somehow and uh, I don't know I'm I'm really working uh, in films and I feel it's uh, I becoming stronger and strong, stronger in this field uh, and 
but I, I can't say that I become weaker in certain. I also, in a way, I'm, I'm this like a slowly developing uh, director. And uh, so for me, it's a very necessary both sides. And even I understand that it's so, so radically different medias. But probably it's a question about the new uh, today world. I, I really I don't see the problem because I'm working also a bit differently in both. I don't feel that I'm working very theatrical in the in the films and so on. Uh, but uh, what uh, what is important for uh, for uh, to be to, to be a theater director? I I really in a way. I have really experience and skills to work with actors. And I'm very often missing in films um, uh, that they, they work with actors. They work with uh, actors' inner world about the motivations. And so I just feel this kind of uh, composition and montage, <laughs> you see, but not this uh, just feeling actors with some world. And, uh, and, uh, and for that, uh, theater really helped because uh, if you if you can't work with actors in theater, there is nothing you right. see. Right. Uh, and that's why I'm, I'm somehow feel that I have some some very important skills for for film director also. Yeah. Right. Um, well, uh, actually, I'm working all the time and I'm, I'm this active person and and, uh, and 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 I have my next films in already in, in <laughs> they are coming and so and 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 and, and uh, yeah yeah also internationally it's, uh, on an international stage I, I become more and more successful and yeah. it's uh, it's interesting yeah I, I'm just uh, I'm curious by myself <laughs> about where it's going yeah um, I guess uh, in closing do you want to uh, speak about your the current film project you're working on at all or is it still too early. Yeah, no, no. Uh, we are actually already got finance from uh, Latvian side. Uh, it will be called Ulya. It's about uh, basketball, uh, wo mo world's most famous uh, basketball player in female, Uliana Semyonova. She was from Latvia and in the 80s, 80s, she was like best basketball player in, in the world. And she was very tall. And and she very strange and the uh, and the same actor Carlis Arnold Awards, what was playing main main character in the others will play her. Oh, interesting, cool. It's very 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 strange and strong project uh, about and it will call Ulya about uh, and you you see in those time uh, because they are uh, in Soviet Union they are looking for tall girls because they want wanted to beat Americans in basketball. <laughs> <laughs> it was in a way that suddenly you are uh, you are uh, some uh, not not very uh, not usual person, but uh, some powers are in a way using you uh, as a weapon in cold war. It's a very right. very strange very strange combination. And same time you are really human. You are human. You can't understand how to live with. And uh, yeah, yeah, it is a very very interesting and also very radical project. Uh, yeah. Yeah, somehow I feel I, I could I know how uh, braveness enough to go more and more in some uh, some radical uh, fields. Yeah, we'll see. That sounds uh, very interesting and also very different even from your last couple of films. So I'm excited for that as well. Um, but thank you for taking the time to speak with me. And again, congratulations on your film and its various awards. And uh, I look forward to more. Thank you very much, Jan. Bye. Bye. Oh, 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 o